Over the last year, the demand for learning management systems has increased due to more and more students needing to be educated remotely. Two tools that stand out for providing all the essential features for education are Microsoft Teams and Google Classroom. Google Classroom was built as a blended learning tool, while Microsoft Teams was initially designed as a collaboration tool for businesses that has recently been used as an education tool. Despite this, both Teams and Google Classroom offer the essential features for classrooms, including channels for announcements and assignments, lesson plans, and grades. Both tools also integrate with a suite of Office applications. Google Classrooms integrates seamlessly with G Suite, while Microsoft Teams has built-in support for Microsoft Office apps. Even though they are both capable of supporting students, Microsoft Teams and Google Classroom each have their own unique strengths and pitfalls. Let's discuss them and see which one might be the right learning management tool for you. In terms of usability, Google Classroom is highly intuitive. It was built from the ground up for education, so it's easy to create assignments, make announcements, and assign grades to students. Google Classroom also includes built-in support for commenting on any student's classwork as they go. This allows teachers to provide feedback and guidance to students more easily. The grade section and feedback tools are the biggest unique strength of Google Classroom. While Teams does offer collaboration features that can act as feedback tools, it isn't as intuitive as Google's offering. Additionally, Teams isn't well suited out of the box for grading students. Teachers will have to do some customizing of their Teams instance to make sure grades are easily accessible, but also private for each student. So when it comes to out of the box usability, Google Classroom is very strong. Microsoft Teams can perform all of the functions that I just mentioned for Google Classroom, but it's often not built in. Teachers using Microsoft Teams will need to set up roles for students and teachers with whatever permissions each group needs. Similarly, they will need to create channels for assignments, announcements, questions from the class, etc. The trade-off of the additional setup work that needs to be done with Teams is that it's highly flexible. While Google Classroom provides you with everything you need for a typical class, Teams allows teachers to customize their class as needed. A class with a lot of group work, for example, could have a teacher create unique private channels for each group to communicate with, allowing groups to communicate independently of one another, but with the teacher able to look in on the progress and chatting of each group at any given time. All in all, Google Classroom is easier to use than Teams. For many classes, teachers can just create a class in Google Classroom and the default settings will be good enough to get started, even if they aren't quite perfect. In contrast, Microsoft Teams is highly customizable compared to Google Classroom, but it'll take some work on the part of teachers or administrators to get the class set up just right, even if you just need basic features. Before it was being used as a learning tool, Microsoft Teams was built for collaboration for business. It has support for text channels, private messaging, and voice calling, which makes it really easy for teachers to collaborate with one another on teaching strategies and lesson plans. Microsoft Teams' built-in support for video conferencing also makes it really easy to include real-time lectures, office hours, and one-on-one -on -one time with students without ever leaving the application. This can make Teams a strong choice for synchronous learning or smaller, live discussion-focused courses. The collaboration features offered by Teams also make it a good choice for classes with a lot of group work where groups need to collaborate verbally and on chat. Google Classroom allows a teacher to add other teachers to a class and includes a scheduling app for scheduling meetings and lectures, but the video functionality isn't actually built into Google Classroom. It's still pretty easy for teachers to set up meetings with Classroom's integration with Google Meet, but it can't match the simplicity of one-click voice calls and video conferences that Microsoft Teams offers. One area where Google Classroom excels on collaboration, though, is in its feedback tools. Teachers can easily comment on students' work at any time and see how they're doing as they go. When it comes to collaboration and video features, Microsoft Teams has the advantage of having video and voice communication built right into the app. This makes communication as easy as a single click. On the flip side, while getting into a call is a little more complicated with Google Classroom, Google Classroom can still support live lectures and discussions through an integration with Google Meet. For classes where voice and video are a priority, Teams is the better option, but for asynchronous learning, it's more of a toss-up. Considering all the factors of both Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams, Google Classroom is the stronger choice for teachers that are running a class that doesn't need a lot of customization, especially if that class is taking advantage of asynchronous learning. It's a perfect choice for lecture-driven classes without a lot of group work. 
for those types of classes, Google Classroom does a lot of work for the teacher and will set them up for success out of the box with minimal extra work on the part of the teacher. On the other hand, Microsoft Teams is perfect for classes that need some customization in terms of teacher and student roles, or for classes where synchronous learning with voice and video is important. Microsoft Teams customization options make it great for classes with a lot of group work, and its one-click voice and video calls are perfect for class discussions or office hours. If you're on the fence about which tool is right for you, consider checking out some verified reviews on TrustRadius. All reviews on TrustRadius are from verified users of the product who share their experiences based on their use case, background, and technical knowledge. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it in the future, consider subscribing to make sure that you never miss an upload.